Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us here on CBS News. I'm Tanya Rivero. And I'm Nancy Chen. Here's a look at the top stories we're following right now. New York State is the latest to repeal its mask mandate. But as more states loosen restrictions, the nation's top doctors warn not everyone should go without face coverings. Fortifying the front, NATO is building up its defenses in several countries along the Russian border. We get an exclusive look as soldiers prepare for a fight they hope will never come. And police in Minnesota arrest the cousin of the man an officer killed while serving a no-knock warrant last week. This as thousands protest the shooting and demand changes the way police search for suspects. And a little later, a multi-billion dollar scheme. A New York couple is accused of trying to launder four and a half billion dollars in stolen Bitcoin. How old-fashioned detective work helped crack the high-tech case. And now in its second week, the mass trucker protests in Canada have blocked a vital U.S. border crossing. We look at the demands to change vaccine mandates and the warning from Prime Minister Justin Trudeau to end the siege of the roads. It has to stop. The people of Ottawa don't deserve to be harassed in their own neighborhoods. But first, we begin with the shift in pandemic policy on the state level. New York is lifting its indoor mask mandate. Governor Kathy Hochul announced she will not renew the rule when it expires tomorrow. The governor issued the mandate in December when Omicron surged.